Moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, as we wrap up the summit, I'd like to invite for our valedictory session, Mr. Naval Ahuja, co-founder and director, Exchange for Media, to join us on screen. A very warm welcome to you, Mr. Ahuja. Thank you. Thank you, Khyati. And a uh, very good evening to everybody who's logged in and watching the show. As you know, a large number of the initiatives that we are doing now are already on ground. Uh, impact uh, pitch, uh, PR and corporate communications 30 and under 30 is one of our newer initiatives. And as you can imagine, this uh, the, the celebrations in the evening today after this conference seek to recognize the young talent in the industry. Uh, we have, uh, you know, two other uh, similar 30 under 30 lists. So one is the advertising list, uh, uh, the celebration ceremony for which took place in Bombay last month. And the other one, which is our marketing 30 under 30, which is under the uh, ages of our marketing brand called Pitch, is also likely to happen next month. Uh, the the uh, primary reason why we have created these uh, lists is to recognize the you know young talent that's been entering the industry uh, from across the board in the last few years. And as we have seen during COVID and uh, you know ongoing now, youngsters are really driving ideas. Youngsters are driving. Uh, a lot of growth in the industry. I keep joking with people I meet that, you know, people of my age are primarily uh, not digital natives. We don't understand technology enough to be able to, you know, bring a lot to the table. We are also learning and a lot of that learning is happening from young people who are, you know, who are, who are driving growth for their organizations, who are driving new ideas. As you've seen in today's conference, we, we had, uh, you know, seven panels, three keynotes, People spoke about, you know, what are the new trends in the PR and corporate, corporate communications industry. And one of the things that has become uh, very clear for the industry during COVID is that, you know, the importance of PR and corporate communications has gone up significantly. Not that it was not there. Uh, you know, corporate communications head, heads in many cases are already working with the CEOs and MDs of the companies, in many cases directly with the owners, uh, image management, how the image is projected to the world outside, to business partners, to consumers, has become even more important uh, during COVID, combined with the fact that a lot of companies, uh, because of hit on business, had to also uh, reduce their marketing budget. So the focus on PR and corporate communications went up many fold. And that's likely to continue. You know, if you look at the new technology space, all the D2C companies, all the, you know, companies in the MarTech, ad tech, technology space, they've all focused on going directly consumers through sort of heavy duty PR. Mm -hmm. I think that's a that's a trend that's going to stay here and only going to grow. And and people who are serving that trend really one well are the youngsters in the industry who who as uh, you can imagine this list that we have put together uh, seeks to recognize my congratulations to all the winners today evening. Uh, uh, the conference also discussed a lot of relevant issues today, uh, most important of which is about talent, uh, you know, retention. I, I think uh, now that we are coming out of COVID, talent retention has become a very important aspect for all the companies. There's been a sudden spurt of job opportunities in the market. I think companies that uh, that uh, culturally uh, take care of their people uh, really well are the ones that will do better in retaining talent. Like you know, a management guru uh, once very famously said, "Culture eats strategy for breakfast." So I think uh, as we come out of COVID, creating a culture that drives innovation, that encourages youngsters that encourages people to speak up and bring fresh ideas to the table uh, that culture is going to thrive companies with that kind of culture are going to thrive and uh, this 30 under 30 list seeks to recognize people who are who are driving who are at the forefront forefront of these new ideas and new innovation so which with that again congratulations to all the winners and i look forward to celebrating with all of you thank you and back to you kathy